Hey there, this is Fernando coming to you from beautiful Geelong, Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. Today I'm asking the question why, why you may not be uh, playing a big enough game or are you playing a big enough game in your business and in your life? And uh, that might be a little bit confronting uh, for a first thought in the morning uh, from us here in Australia. But here's the thing I want to challenge you to think about. As human beings, we are creatures of habit. We have habit patterns about most of the things that we do in our life. We have habit patterns about how we get out of bed. We have habits about how we dress ourselves. Think about it. You know, when you put your socks on in the morning, do you take a moment to think about which foot you're going to put in first or do you just automatically get dressed? Do you have habits about what you have for breakfast? Do you stop and think, today I'm going to have something different? Or do you go for the coffee in the morning with the toast uh, before you run out of home? Okay, that's a habit. There are also habit patterns about the way that we think. There are habit patterns about our emotions. Tony Robbins talks about this stuff. Um, you know, we have habits about uh, the emotions that we feel on a daily basis. Okay, so if that's the case, if there are habit patterns about most of the things in our life, does it not make sense that there may also be habit patterns about the type of goals that we're setting for ourselves? because we're choosing based on, uh, on what we already know. And so when, I, when I'm asking you the question, are you playing a big enough game in your business? What you want to consider is, how did you decide what are the goals that you want to go after in the next six or the next 12 months? Because most people, when they set goals, they set goals based on what they think they can do. Okay, it's typically how most people set goals. And it's also the reason why most people don't follow through and don't achieve the results that they want. It's because they're setting what uh, Bob Proctor, who's been my teacher and mentor, calls uninspiring goals. Because they're just habit patterns about uh, the way that we think. You know, we may uh, go for the typical, I want a bigger house, I want a bigger car, I want to make more money, I want to stay home, I want to travel. Okay? But you really want to stop and think, what do I really want? And it takes awareness about this process, and we have to challenge ourselves. So, my invitation for you is to think about not just... Uh, not setting a goal based on what you know you can do, not setting a goal based on what you have achieved in the past, because most people, the second type of goals people set is based on what achieved, they have achieved in the past, and they think that sets the pattern for what they can do. And really, if you want to be inspired, if you truly want to go for greatness in your life, and I'm not talking just about financial success, which is the way I guess most people measure success, in life, especially if you're in the home-based uh, industry, in the network marketing space, you want to measure success in health, happiness, wealth, three different areas of your life. And more so than financial success, I want, you, I want to challenge you to think about what is it that would have you be fulfilled? Because fulfillment is something you can't buy. Fulfillment is about a state that you get into, uh, which you can attain through doing certain things. So start thinking about what truly inspires you, what truly excites you, uh, what may even scare you a little bit. And if you're going for something you've never done before, then you know you're on the right path to setting the right type of goal. The goal that's going to keep you taking action in spite of the circumstances that may come your way. And this must sound a bit breezy because it's, uh, it's a beautiful winter's day here and the sun's shining, but it is a little bit windy. So there's my thought for you today. Are you playing a big enough game? Start to think about what it is that you truly want. Don't just automatically decide based on what you think you've done in the past because that's all habit patterns. Think about if you could have anything, what would that look like? And start to write it down on a card, starting with I'm so happy and grateful now that it is whatever the date is that you want to achieve this by and write it as if you've already attained it. It's, it's already a done deal. And what's going to happen is your subconscious mind which is the emotional part of your mind, it's the universe mind that's connected to everything, is going to attract to you the resources, the ideas, the people, the circumstances, the conditions, whatever it is that you need to help you start to attract, uh, to manifest that goal in due course. So I hope that makes a difference for you today. If you want to know more about how to set the right type of goals to play the big enough game that you deserve to play for yourself, for your family, for those you care about, head over to fernandeloaza.com. Uh, forward slash blog where you're going to see some podcasts where I actually talk about this there's a 70 minute podcast where I go into detail about how to set the right type of goal how to structure it and what steps you should be taking every single day to ensure that you stay on track to achieving your goal I hope that makes a difference to your day today 
Uh, if you found value, let me know. What, what does this mean to you? What do you take away from this message? What can you put into action today that's going to make a difference for you? Share it with your download. Share it with those you care about. And if you want, if you have any questions, ask me in the community. Uh, send me a private message. Send me an email. Or just head over to the blog where there's lots of other free resources that you can get for free. Uh, some of them you might have to enter your email. Other than that, there's a lot of value there. So I hope that makes a difference. Stay blessed. Let me see who we've got here. Jennifer, hello from Hawaii. Thank you for joining. Nice to see you here. Hey, Thomas, good to see you, man. Uh, Juan David, buenos dias from Melbourne. And Susan, hey, Susan, nice to see you here. I hope you enjoyed the message. Uh, go and do a message for yourselves today. Bring value, bring love, make a difference. Let's change lives and let's keep on going. All right, take care, be blessed, and bye for now.